just give you more trust in him to, to put him out there a lot. Absolutely. He's he's progressing every week. He's a guy that this is extremely important to, and you can see his dedication is paying off as far as he's getting better technique-wise. Uh, he's staying confident and getting better day by day. and, and he wants to be the best that he can possibly be, uh, and he's growing in the position. You know, really came into this year as this is the first true full fall that he's had at the tight end position, uh, and you see his improvement throughout the, the fall. Have those guys been feeding off of each other, and Ethan and, and Daniel, it seems like they're all getting a little bit more um, even reps than maybe at the beginning of the year. Are they starting to feed off each other, and, and, and it seems like you're all trusting them more now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we trust all those guys to be able to go out and perform uh, their, their assignments no matter who it is. And so as far as that's concerned, i uh, like for those guys to take uh, three, four, five plays at a time as opposed to getting a, a full 12-play series or something like that. And so we'll sub them in, keep them fresh so that they can play as hard as they possibly can for each and every play. Ethan it looked like he had a couple slip through his hands. Did he say anything about those? Or is he the kind of guy that you just know he, he hates that on his own? You have to yeah, play. I mean, he's, he's a guy that, that takes – everything in internally and he it's important to him he's not a guy that sloughs it off I mean that that ate at him for sure and, and he's got great hands he's got as good a hands as any guy out there on that field um, and they slipped through and it, it ate him up and, and I expect that he'll go out there and have no problems here on out how close are you all to blocking up on uh we've come after a handful of them we've gotten close on on a couple of them it just goes game by game as far as uh a whether or not we feel like we've got a great opportunity, and, and then B, at that point in time, you know whether we got the, the proper call from them. That's part of it too. Is, is you're designing something, and they've got a couple different blocking schemes. Does it marry up when yeah. you call the block that you're, you're getting the, the blocking scheme that you're hoping for? And sometimes you can absolutely predict, uh, based upon whatever variables there are, what blocking schemes you're going to get. And sometimes you're rolling the dice a little bit. It might be one of two or three different blocking schemes and you get the right one or you don't get the right How one. How much does it come down to it?